vegan food reviews. We're in Cleveland, Ohio, and right now we're at Propaganda Coffee Shop, a vegan and gluten-free coffee shop. So first off, when I went into Propaganda, I've never been here before, so I had to ask, do y'all have some type of staple or signature that I should try? And she told me about the Riverside, which is a double shot of espresso, brown sugar, vanilla, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. And I got it topped with oat milk. Let's give it a shot. Oh, for one thing, I do like espresso and latte type drinks. I'm not a real big straight coffee drinker at all, but lattes, espressos, shit like that, I, I get down with them. Definitely has a cinnamon kick in there, and I love cinnamon. And I taste the espresso as well. Mmm. You know what? I don't think I've had like a double shot of espresso since I lost all the weight. I wonder if this is going to do something to me. Like give me the fucking jitters or something. I would get this again and again and again and again. It's, I like the flavor of it. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely a cinnamon drink for sure. All right. Now, now we're going to try the double cream cookie. I saw this on Instagram last week and I said, oh, we got to try that. So we're here and we're trying it. I ain't even going to lie to you. That's a whole lot of cookie right there. That's a whole lot of cream in between them cookies. Hmm. The cream is incredible and that cookie got something going on in there. I wish I knew what was in the cookie, but it's really good. Especially the way it goes with the cream. Oh my goodness. And just the cream on its own is ridiculous. Double cream cookie, double worth it. Now I could be wrong, but I think there's some kind of nuts in the cookie. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is it a, is it a walnut? I don't think there's raisins in there, but something's got a... You know, when you bite into a raisin and it's like in an oatmeal raisin cookie, you can tell the difference between the raisin and the cookie, right? I don't think there's raisins in here, but there's something similar going on. I can tell the difference between that chomp and the cookie chomp. You know what I mean? Very good. Oh, the cookie with the Riverside? Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm-hmm. That just elevated everything. It elevated the cookie and it elevated Riverside. And last but not least, the buffalo cauliflower grilled sandwich. Fresh roasted buffalo seasoned cauliflower, red onions and tomato topped with a gluten-free bread. And look, I'm a sucker for a couple things, right? And one of them is a sandwich. Ooh. You make a sandwich the right way, I'll be there. Gotta make sure I tuck that tomato in there. Right before I was about to take a bite, I smelled it and I knew what I was about to taste before I tasted it. The buffalo sauce isn't crazy hot whatsoever. Um, the onions, the tomato, the cauliflower with the bread, everything go very well together. To me, this is like a sandwich that I would make at the crib, except, you know, I, I wouldn't grill it and stuff like that because I'm super lazy. But this is what I would expect to get if I was chilling in propaganda, just studying, reading, working, whatever I'm doing, right? It's not over the top on any flavor whatsoever, but it's enjoyable. Propaganda Coffee, Cleveland, Ohio. Vegan coffee shop vibes. If you're looking for a vegan, gluten-free coffee shop in Cleveland, Propaganda Coffee. This is Vegan Food Reviews, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.